there is one like, Italian one, the Vita or Vito? Yeah, Vita. The Vita? Yeah, I think that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even ask Rachel to do it. It's okay for me to pick all the questions, so I just took over. <laughs> all the way in the back with the, uh, the yellow and the yellow card. Favorite what? Favorite anime? They didn't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think my favorite was probably Shinsekai Yori. Yes. It's a book as well in Japan, and um, I actually they translated it to English, and I started reading it, but I only got about halfway through. Uh, that's one thing that I actually think kind of translated better as an anime rather than as a book, and. I just thought the story was very unique, and uh, there were a lot of twists. You really couldn't see what was coming, and so as a story, I just thought it was really, really interesting. I can't just pick one, but um, <laughs> there is a director called Shinkai Makubo, and I've been a huge fan of him even before uh, he became really popular. And I think that's last year, uh, he made a movie called Your Name. And I'm so happy that he's doing so great now. Um, so yeah, I really like your Shinkai Makubo. And I'm going to answer anyway, I know they didn't ask me. Because um, <laughs> the same director, Watanabe-san, that uh, Jun, Jun geeked out about with Cowboy Bebop, I geeked out about it. It's my very favorite one. When I was in high school, this is where I get old. All old man, here we go. So back when I was born. <laughs> I had a, uh, a third copy VHS tape of, uh, of Macross Plus, oh. and I absolutely love Macross Plus. The ringtone on my phone for the last two years has been that song from Macross Plus. So, and Watanabe's on directed that as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, Mecca, Mecca for life. Next, uh, right here at the pink one. Uh, so I love watching your videos of the cats with the cats. <laughs>
Now I can, I'm oh, sorry, it really depends on the <coughs> part. I think I can, well, it also de uh, depends on what kind of video, because where we, it's, it's a video where we just talk constantly, and that's so it's a fixed longer. So, yeah, it really depends on. A few hours, usually? Not, not a few hours. Uh, but more than an hour, if it's like 10 minutes video where we just talk. Right here in the uh, police rescue. Um, so, as far as school in Japan goes, what fields of interest do you think are more beneficial to study there as opposed to the U.S. or um, Europe? It's, sorry, it was a question for me. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting. <laughs> no, so it depends if you're studying in English or if you're studying in Japanese. Uh, if you're studying in English, there's a more limited number of majors uh, that are available, both at Japanese universities and at you know, the, the very few American universities, temples over there, uh, Lakeland, and College, uh, has students over there. So if it's in English, it tends to be more business and art and uh, economics, psychology, things like that. No hard sciences, very few hard sciences. Uh, except at like University of Scuba, maybe, uh, and Toshisha, they offer some of the, the hard sciences in English. Uh, if you do it in Japanese, anything. The, the biggest difference between, and I'm speaking specifically about undergrad here for bachelor's degrees, uh, and, and please don't hurt me when I say this, but it's very hard to get into Japanese university. That's the whole like accomplishment. And it's very hard to fail out of a Japanese university. It's almost impossible. <laughs> so a lot of your work, it goes like this. There's a giant scale up. You get in, and then you just kind of, oh, hey, I'm going to work my part-time job, do my clubs, get my diploma, and then I go back to work. And work my company. It's really where you went is more of the name. So the, the name brand is a lot more important. Right? Now, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, June, did you have a classmate who really should have failed, but basically everyone just passed her anyway? Can you tell me a story about that? In, in university? At your university? Didn't you have a classmate who like didn't do any work at all? <laughs> and they still passed her? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Quite proven, right there. Uh, One of the things I yeah. did was because um, I had to take the test to get that was in credit. Um, so I just... Um, but back then, I didn't have my smartphone, but so I had a um, IC recorder. I just asked this my friend classmate to just record the class, and I just get it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to the class later. It's very and I feel like, and I still pass it easily. So yeah, it's it's very hard. So, but anything, it's much more which school you go to versus what the subject is. Now, if you're going to study here, uh, a lot of the entry level jobs just want you to have a degree. I went over with a theater degree. Um, and I was not acting, so. <laughs> Excellent. Holy uh, cow, there's so many of you. <laughs> Excellent, right here. Um, great, well, you moved right here and there, permanently. Was there any issues when you did it, or any issues like during the fallout, like or anything? I didn't have any issues with my hair falling out, um, but because your hair is straight, I don't know if you can see, but there are parts of my hair ponytail that just sticks straight out now because my hair doesn't bend. So you'll get that and then your hair can still curl if you leave it in a curled position. So the hair that's always behind my ears is basically permanently curled now. And so if I don't tuck it behind my ears, it just sticks straight out of my head. <laughs> like two little curls. And now I realize why that's a thing in anime. <laughs> Except the summer gets extremely humid, and there's no uh, central heating and cooling. See, that's the question: is where are you in Japan? Because Japan goes from Alaska to Hawaii. So Hokkaido is the same latitude as Alaska, and Okinawa is the same latitude as Hawaii. Yeah. Many prefectures in Japan, like Man Island, Man it does really get really really humid. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, Tokyo is miserable in the summer. On the Japanese seaside, you feel like you can actually grab the air. Absolutely. Right here. Rachel, what is your least favorite Japanese food? 
Japanese restaurant from the U.S. Two, what's your favorite American restaurant in Japan? And JP, what's your favorite American restaurant in the non-U.S.? Oh, other than Japan. Ooh, good <laughs> My least favorite Japanese restaurant in America, I don't even remember the name, but when I was stationed in Texas for two years in the middle of nowhere, like three hours away from any normal named city that someone would recognize, there was a tiny Asian restaurant, and it was awful. <laughs> it was so... Basically, their sauce for everything was soy sauce. And it was, yeah, I got yakisoba, but it was just noodles with soy sauce. It was really... It was hers. Least, wait, my least favorite American restaurant in Japan? <laughs> 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 Denny's is awful. Do you like Denny's over there? Oh, De Denny's is our Japanese food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you the disappointment in my life when I went to the Denny's in Japan for the first time. I'm like, where are my moons over my hand? Uh, so, anyway, no, my, my favorite global restaurant is actually anywhere in Norway or Sweden in December. Because you get the Yule board, the the Christmas uh, menu, and yeah, it's a heart attack on a plate, <laughs> but it's absolutely delicious. It is it is probably four thousand calories, and you never know what's going to get. But there's always going to be something with hooves. It's always reindeer or elk or something. So I, that's my favorite outside. Favorite American restaurant in the country? No. No, it's not gonna lie. Um, I don't really go to uh, American restaurant in Japan often because um, I don't have really any around the house. So. They don't have many American style restaurants in Japan at all, unless you're in a really big city. Right. And I don't really have like least favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I, have to, I have to say my least favorite restaurant in Nagoya because um, they're around Nagoya, right? And when I went to go visit them the first time, I was staying in the hotel, and we were supposed to have dinner, and we got rescheduled to breakfast. And so I went to a, a place called the ba uh, Back 40, and it had like a Back to the Future uh, <laughs> logo. And I was like, oh, hey, a retro restaurant. I'll just go in there. No, it was a knockoff Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sending the pictures. I'm like, this is where I am. Thanks, guys. <laughs> in Nagoya. It's right at, it's like two blocks north of Nagoya Station. Yes. So. Mario's coins. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, so, Jun, I have a question for you. So, just like uh, Rachel, like, craves American food, obviously, because she's, I guess, you guys come from around here, do you ever see you long enough where it's like, wow, I'm tired of this American food, I, I wish I want this kind of Japanese food in America? Yeah, they have that kind of thing. Like, like specific food. Like, yeah, well, similar to like, I remember Rachel's like, oh, I like, I can't get hot fries here because there's no spicy food in Japan. Similarly, you long enough that it's like, I wish I could have this, but I can't wait to get back to this. <laughs> Actually, uh, a lot of food, the Japanese food that I like, that I like, end up missing, um, I can get them here. Um, for, for example, like Rachel takes me to the sushi bars uh, every time I come to America, and I don't have to like, suffer from that. <laughs> <laughs> but if I, I'd say I would say like rice-related food, I guess. He's being polite. He misses Japanese food on day one. <laughs>